Today my lecture is going to be on Prezi. Prezi writing is a French word. Have you heard the word precise? What does the word precise means? Any idea? So what is the difference between a digital watch and a normal watch? If you see a normal watch, the time will show around 12.50 now. But if you see a digital watch, it will show around 12.53 point few seconds. That is actually a precise point. And from the word precise, the word precise has come. So when you small, when you make a brief of an entire big paragraph, it is precise. All right? Precise writing is an art. Now, what are the things, the two or three things which are important to understand is what is a Prezi? Prezi is a rewritten draft of the entire big paragraph. Second and the most important point is Prezi is the one third of the entire paragraph. So, when the question comes in your examination, what you have to do is it will take few seconds, count the number of words and then make a one third of it. So, if, it's, if the question contains 100 words, 180 words, your pressy would be around 60 words. Okay, don't exceed 60. It can be 50, it can be 55, but cannot go for 60. So, second part is the A, B, C of pressy. How to write it? What are the things that you have to remember? Points to remember for A, B, C. Uh, A for an effective pressy writing. A stands for accuracy. That is, whatever you write, it should be the main theme. It should be accurate. No if, no but. Second, uh, B stands for brevity. Brevity is small. It should be small and concise. It should not be big. And C stands for clarity. Remember, in the uh, when communication we were doing, we had used this word. Clutter is the enemy of clarity. So, you have removed all the words, all the expression that is creating clutter in your paragraph and then maintain clarity. So, the ABC of Pressy is accuracy, brevity, Clarity. Spashed hona chahiye, chota hona chahiye, or bilkul to the point hona chahiye. A stands for accuracy, accuracy ka matab to the point, brevity ka matab chota, clarity matab spashed. Clear? Now, what are the things you have to remember while writing a prezi? First, it should be written in past tense. Second, it should be written in the third person. There should be shortened, you remove, uh, you remove full stop, put, use lot of commas use more and more shortening the sentences let's say i ask you the word uh, the act of remaining away from the people during a uh, virus so immediately everybody would say uh, social distancing isn't it everybody is saying social distancing or to remain in one room isolated from others everybody will say quarantine so instead of removing everybody staying away from the people they go arts and no word in sub ko remove kar doge bachega ek word that is quarantine that is how you shorten the entire paragraph in your press right okay so important points one third of the passage past tense and every pressy has a title how it is going to be a title every passage will you will go on understanding and adding how many words are there any important theme or the word which has been repeated again and again will form the title of the passage right i hope i am clear with my explanation i am floating down the powerpoint presentation of the pressing this will be followed by a paragraph visibly given as a part of an assignment you have to submit the pressing thank you very much stay safe stay healthy See you soon. Bye-bye.